Shadow Foreign Minister Penny Wong joins me now from Canberra. Good morning. Welcome to breakfast. Good morning. Good to be with you. What's China playing at here? Look, I think it was a deliberately provocative image. Uh, it was an offensive, inflammatory image, uh, and it uh, was rightly condemned by all parties and by the Australian community. I think we are united as a, as a community in our condemnation of it. I would say this, though, in the face of deliberate provo provocation, what we need to do, what we should do, is to respond calmly uh, and strategically uh, uh, and not uh, and not be emotional uh, in what is uh, obviously a, a deliberate in relation to what was deli a deliberate provocation. Do you think that's the approach the Prime Minister is taking? I think we are unified in our response and our condemnation uh, of of this image. Uh, and I made a statement as did Anthony Albanese yesterday. But if we throw forward, uh, and in your introduction, you you rightly pointed out we have a range of very substantial difficulties in our relationship with China at this point. Uh, we have uh, economic uh, challenges with the you know, blocking of all the, the problems we've had with a whole range of exports, which you know, is obviously a major issue for the Australian economy, for jobs and for all the Australians who rely on those industries. And we have uh, this deliberate provocation. I think it's very important that we respond in a calm and measured way and make very clear uh, what it, we believe is acceptable. Uh, this isn't the behaviour, as I said yesterday, um, the, the photograph or the doctored photograph, of, uh, the offensive doctored photograph, is not the behaviour of a responsible, mature international power. And, and the Prime Minister has taken this approach where he's, he almost believes the relationship sunk so low that perhaps there is now the environment for a reset. But it seems like there'd be Buckley's chance of that at the moment, given that we've seen them double down on comments that make. And Penny Wong, I've just checked again, the tweet is still there. It's pinned mm. to the top of the official's Twitter feed. That's sending a message. Is it a message not just to Australia, but to others around the world? This is how China will act. Uh, well, uh, clearly it is sending a message and we, we, we have to choose how we respond to it. I think we have to respond with unity, as we have, uh, and we have to recognise it for what it is, deliberate provocation, uh, and that it is inflammatory. But I think the, the way, what we need to do now uh, is to work out how we deal with a, a China that regrettably behaves like this. Well, how would you do uh, it? Well, I think we, the two, two things we need to do. The first is we need to work with like-minded, with uh, partners and allies, aligned nations, uh, in reinforcing both the rules and the norms uh, and the standards of behaviour that we want uh, in, in the we want for our region and for the world. Uh, and I think that's the second point, is uh, we need to continue to reinforce the rules which underpin, obviously, the trading arrangements we have. Uh, I think it's very important we work with others uh, to try and reinforce and strengthen uh, the rules-based order uh, that has served Australia and, frankly, served China well. Uh, and you know, Obviously, there's an opportunity with the Biden, incoming Biden administration for Australia to do that, and we need to focus on that. And, Penny Wong, uh, you've been highly critical of the government's approach in regards to getting Australians home mm. by Christmas. How many are going to miss out, do you think, at this stage? Well, we know the Prime Minister, Mr Morrison's promise is going to be broken, and he doesn't even have the decency to acknowledge that. But there were more people. Uh, Added to that. No, no, no. See, numbers. you see, you, 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 <laughs> uh, you picked up what he said. One of the, the the shifty things he uses to try and get out of the broken promise. Even if you looked at who was overseas uh, and on the list at the time he made the promise, they won't get home. So let's be very clear about that. Uh, the reality is the Prime Minister uh, is not going to deliver on his promise, and that is because he is refusing to take responsibility. He's refusing to ensure that the federal government takes some responsibility for quarantine, that it sets up a, uh, a federal facility. Uh, it was told months ago by its own adviser it could do so, uh, and it has refused to do so. And so what has happened is since the Prime Minister's promise, not only have more people been added to the list, but more people have been classed as vulnerable. Uh, and they will not be home by Christmas. Now, that is, uh, I think, a, a great sadness for them and their families and a great abdication of responsibility for, by Mr Morrison. Penny Wong, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to be with you.